Hey there, welcome to this episode. And today I want to talk about pattern chaining. So you've created a bunch of different patterns here, and maybe you've even worked out a sequence to kind of play through for your track. Now with the SP404 Mark II, what you can do, you can create a pattern chain and essentially get it to automate that process for you. Select the patterns that you want to go through, whatever order that you like, and then get it to play through in that order. So it's really clever. Now what we do, we go to pattern select here, of course, you're going to need some patterns to play around with. I've got two, you know, terrible kind of examples here, but just two basic patterns that I knock together so that we can demonstrate this. And what we need to do next is press hold here. This is going to open up this chain select menu and it's asking us to pick a chain. So you can create multiple different chains. We're going to press one here. Then we can let go of hold and this pattern chain menu is going to remain open. And you'll see that we have a little grid here and it kind of runs from left to right and then drops down and comes along. And that is like the chain sequence essentially. So if I want to put a pattern in, I can choose pattern one to start us off with. And you'll see it fills up one of these little segments, one of these little chunks. Now you can use the same pattern as many times as you like. It's not like you have to move on to another one. So let's say I want X amount of, you know, times of it doing this one, like four times across. And then I want to go into the next mode and so forth and then maybe i want to change it again back to you know the first pattern obviously with better patterns more options you can create more complex and more interesting tracks so it runs left to right and goes through like this if you notice here at the side we have this little menu item where it says repeat off and that's pretty self-explanatory if we leave it to off here it's going to run through all of this chain pattern in the order that we've told it to and when it gets to the end it's going to turn itself off now if we press remain during this let's say you've got your pattern playing through and you'd still like to make a couple of little tweaks on the fly you can do that using remain because you can change this repeat mode so if we press remain here you'll see that we can repeat all so of course it's going to go all through the pattern get to the end and then start all over again and do like a big loop or we can set to the current uh, pattern. So it will just stay looping on a point one here that we've got selected in our first little grid slot. So that is essentially how you can manipulate, glue together your patterns and have them run in a sequence that suits you. And I'll just do a very quick demo of the two patterns here just so that you can kind of see that working. What I'm gonna do is we can use our push enter button here, scroll through. So let's say we don't want something in here. We can press the delete button and we can get rid of it. And for this exercise, I just wanna do a very simple link from one pattern to the next because they're pretty boring. Um, so let's just do pattern two now and then back to pattern one and I'll leave it like that. And for the mode, I'm just gonna set it so that it stops at the end. And the way that you trigger them is to hit the sub pad. And there we have it. So you can see how we can chain the patterns to create the sequence that we want. And essentially you can resample this down and I'll go into a few more tips and tricks in another episode. But that is the fundamentals of just chaining your patterns together to create a sequence that you like and let the SP404 do the hard work of playing through it for you. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.